Ariel Hawani in Buffalo, New York, alongside Gegard Musasi, who meets Chris Weidman this Saturday, live on pay-per-view at UFC 210. Wow, I am excited to talk to you, Gegard, making a lot of noise. You're making more noise going into this card than anyone on the card, even the headliners. You realize that, right? Well, I didn't know that, but uh, that's a good thing, right? It feels like there's a pep in your step. I even noticed on the uh, Embedded, you said you don't always look forward to fights, but this one you're really looking forward to. Why is that? Well, when you get screwed, <laughs> you, you're going to say that. So How are you getting screwed? Fight, I'm going to get paid. And I'm going to beat him just because I need to get paid. Not because I want to beat Whiteman. Okay. I don't care about that. I need to get paid, so I'm going to beat him. How are you getting screwed? They should pay me more. I'm more worth more. Simple as that. Uh, you know, I see some fighters getting a lot of money. Uh, I've defeated them. I don't care. They're okay. Dan Henderson, he's a legend, but uh, he's old. Okay, okay, that's not good. I'm not gonna talk bad about Dan. Well, Mark Hunt, you've brought up, right? Yeah, Mark Hunt. Let's say I defeated him. Even it was not in, uh, but he makes ten times, not ten times, but he makes a lot more. Fido Belfort makes a lot more. Dan Henderson makes a lot more. Michael Bisping. Let's be honest. I would be favorite in that fight. But he is the champion. Yeah, but now he's champion. Even before he was champion, he was getting paid more. So I should get what I deserve. I don't uh, have extreme, uh, how do you say it? Extreme uh, demands. Demands. Right. They should pay me what's fair. When did you have this epiphany? Because, because you... it's my last fight, okay. and I can talk whatever I want. God, because this is amazing. Where yeah. have you been, Gegard? Where has uh, the unfiltered Gegard Hiding been? In the closet. Yeah. No, just, <laughs> no, just kidding. That's this is the last fight on your deal. Right? Huh? This is the last fight on your deal. Yeah, this is my last fight. And uh, did they try to resign you before this fight? Well, one week before the fight, and a couple like weeks. Last week ago. Uh, last week. A couple months before, and uh, last week they tra they said. Come After all the talk. No, uh, they come up with a contract. We didn't like it, and uh, last week they also offered the contract. Uh, no, they wanted to this week. They want to have a contract negotiation, but you know, I'm in the fight week. I'm not gonna do contracts sure. and stuff. How close was the offer to what you want? Not even close. Not even in the same ballpark? Not even close. What do you want? Ten million. Okay. Per I'm fight. Just <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. What are they offering? Can you tell us that? Well, I don't know if I can say it. My manager is there. I He's going to give me shit about it. He's breathing it. down my yeah. neck here. Yeah. So I would say it to you, but uh, behind the cameras. <laughs> so free agency is a big story in MMA. Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing what your true market value is? 100%. But... Uh, my goal is to get that belt. I'm so close. So after beating Whiteman, you know, first I have to do it. Sure. Then I figure that things out. So you want to stay in the UFC? 100%. You know, it's the biggest organization. Uh, it, if I win the belt there, then it, it counts. But you also want to get paid. So is there a chance that you don't stay? Uh, you know, who, can, who talks about former champions right. who retired? Right. No, one gonna, no one remembers them. They all forget them. And there's only like Mike Tyson or... Uh, Maybe an Anders Silva or a Muhammad Ali they still talk about. Right. I just need to get fill my pockets, get a nice car. Don't you think so? Your girlfriend wants a nice car too, right? Yeah, I'm going to buy everyone a car now. Right. Even me? <laughs> uh, you're rich, yeah, I, no, I think. No, not even close. I wish. Um, so... <laughs> You do have a. We you do have. You do, uh, do some negotiations. <laughs> we should. We should. Uh, maybe we can hire Nima to do yeah. it for both of us. Um, you have a relationship, obviously, with Scott Coker. Yeah. Are you going to listen to them? Are you going to try to, you know, see if there's anything well, out there for you? That's too soon. Uh, but uh, you know, I like Scott Coker a lot. He's an honest guy. So. I uh, feel like the UFC has not been honest with you. Uh, UFC been honest to me, uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, I have to perform at the end of the day. So once I perform, I can have demands. Mm. So I can talk a lot, and I, if I lose the fight, then it's all for nothing. So let me win the first fight, and then I'm, I will have a big mouth. The fact that there's a log jam at 185, you know, uh, Bisping is fighting GSP, and there's Romero, and there's Jacare, does that come into play here that it might, even if you keep winning, it might still be a while before you get that title 100%, shot? 100%. I have to risk everything. I've put everything on the line again to get a title. Michael Bisping wasn't even a contender. He just got, he was a replacement. So he got his shot. You need, right. you need luck. And you need, you need uh, UFC to give you the fight. You have, you have to get the chance. Your Romero is waiting forever. Let's say he, he has to fight Luke Rockhold next to get the title, and he loses. He's back in the line again. He lost his title shot, but he, should, he or earned it already a long time ago. So in the back of your mind, are you thinking this could be my last UFC fight? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Show uh, you the money, you said. 
Show me the money, bitches. <laughs> That's what you're going to say. When you get down the table, nah, Dana White, nah, show nah. me the money. No, I don't think. Uh, I will let manager do I'm just too nice to sure. for contract negotiation. And you feel like Chris is <laughs> overlooking you? Like he's actually looking past you? Like he doesn't respect you? I think, uh, no, I don't. Uh, I think he does under, He underestimates a little bit. I think he has seen his, my previous fights where I get taken down. And uh, he, he relies too much on that. But I know what I can do. Uh, on a good given day, uh, when I, my mind is right, and it is right, and I worked a lot on my defense. I'm not a wrestler. I'm just working on my takedown defense. You've said on the record he's not going to get one takedown in this fight, right? He's not going to get any one. If he gets me, I'm going to pop up in one second. Let's well, just stick to none. none not even better, one. But even if he gets one, I will get up. Okay. Seconds. Wow. But none. Do you feel like there's extra pressure on you because no, you've talked yeah, a lot okay. at last fight? No, no. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm confident, but right. uh, I like the guy. He's not a bad yeah. guy. But, uh, Do you want to tell the world what you're looking for? I'm looking for a win, and uh, simple as that. And uh, as however, as, however it comes, dominate, knockout, whatever. I mean as far as the contract. Contract, uh, you know, get, uh, get more money. That's it. I deserve it. It's not like uh, they say people, everyone wants to get paid more. No, everyone should get paid what is deserved. What's fair? What's fair. And uh, let's say your Romero should get a title shot and Jacare should get a title. That's fair. Nothing uh, uh, crazy asking. I should get paid more because I deserve it. What do you get for this one? Well, I can't tell you that now. Uh, okay. Well, it's going to come out, right? Well, it's going to come out, but, you know. Right. I can't say so that. secretive. You know, I'm not secretly. I'm, I'm an honest guy. I, you know, in I other sports, the numbers. The camera, right. but, uh, in other sports, we know what everyone makes. Yeah, but this that's is, almost better for you guys if everyone knows yeah, what everyone I know, makes. but that's, that's not the case here. It should actually be better for the fighters sure. uh, to. Then to you know. can compare. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, you know, that's being smart from the UFC part. Right. Well, I appreciate this. No problem. It's good to see you. Good yeah. to talk to you. Good luck on Saturday, and then of course, good luck with the Thank contract you. negotiations. We will. Thank you.